Congratulations on your Perfections Frame Free Deep Fill Soft Side Sleep System purchase from Enelmax. Today we're going to show you how to set it up, fill it, and assemble it in the best and most efficient manner possible. Today in our setup example you'll see that we're using the Versa legs and the wood solid state foundation that is designed to go with the Perfection Top Sleep System. Just to ensure that you have at least nine basic points of contact with the floor to ensure the safest sleep system possible. A couple of helpful hints before we start the top assembly. Go ahead and put on the dust ruffle if you're going to have one. You also want to go ahead and make sure that the foundations are pretty much exactly where you want the mattress to be installed. Remember, once this thing is full of water, you're not going to be able to just move this bed into another area. You'll notice that the top cover is actually shipped to you zipped inside out. Once you've removed the top cover panel assembly from the bottom cover panel assembly, just go ahead and put it off to the side. We're going to go ahead and lay out the bottom panel assembly like I have done here and prepare the bottom panel for the installation of your M-Rails. The first half of the M-Rails we are going to go ahead and install is the ones that are designated as head rail. You'll notice the sticker at the top of the head rail. We're going to just go ahead and install that at the head of the bed. Unroll the foot generally kind of place it in order. Make sure that when you're looking at it you can see the head rail sticker and make sure that you can see the flap coming out from the bottom of the slanted inward portion of the rail. Once you've completed the installation of the head and foot portion of the M rail side supports you're going to go ahead and lay out the side rail portion. You're going to make sure that when you do so, you're setting the side rails into the head and foot on each side and that the side rail sticker and the dot match up to the head rail sticker in the upper portion of the head rail just as we have here. Now that we've finished the installation of the M rails, we're going to go ahead and install our heater or heaters. If you've got just one singular heater with your mattress purchase, you're going to install it the same exact way you would as if you had two. With two heaters, you get the freedom of his and her heater temperature choice and comfort. To go ahead and install your heater, you're going to go ahead and take the heater pads cord and you're going to put it through the slit that is at the bottom of the head rail, almost where your head would be if you were lying in it. You're going to feed it through that slit and then you'll notice that there's a corresponding hole that's been cut out of the bottom panel and you're going to feed through there as well. To install your heater properly, the next step would be to take your thermistor, which is the cord coming off of your control, and you're going to feed it back through the cutout in the bottom panel. You're going to feed it in underneath the slant M rail at the head and through the slit where you put the heater pads cord. Now, to place your thermistor, you want to make sure that you place it about six to eight inches from your side rail and you want to place it 12 inches from your heater pad. Doing so is going to ensure the accuracy of the temperature the bed is heating to. You'll also notice that we've got our pad centered about where you would be on the bed when you're laying down. Underneath this top panel assembly you'll remember we had a two-piece foundation unit. In a queen and a king size from Enelmax you're always going to have a two-piece unit. Do not take your heater and put it in the center over that crack. That would be negligent heater installation and cause some possibilities of issues. One of the questions we're always asked is where should I set my heater's temperature? Well, we would recommend you start off at about 80 degrees. It heats at a very low capacity. It's only going to heat at about a quarter degree per hour, so ensure that you use warm water. That way you can sleep on this bed tonight. The next step in our setup process of the Perfections Frame Free Soft Side is to go ahead and install our safety liner. So you can see it's under in the corner there. I'm going to come over, fold this portion of the bottom panel down again, then up, over, and around. You'll see that the liner tucks under that complete M rail, and then we'll bring back the cover assembly now that we've finished that. Now that we've completed the installation of the safety liner, we're ready to go ahead and install our sponge chamber or chambers as the case may be if it's a dual system. 
you're going to want to make sure that it acclimates to room temperature before you start opening and trying to set up the bed. Now let's go ahead and start our air inflate process. You will notice that we do have two valves on the chamber. One is your fill valve, one is your air release valve. That's just for ease of use for filling, which we'll point out here in a minute. One of the subtle differences you'll find if you're setting up a dual sponge system is the need for the thermal divider to prevent cross heating of the cooler chamber. So what we do is we just take this small T design, it's upside down T, one top half of the T, if it's upside down, goes underneath the one side of the mattress. The other side goes underneath the other side of the mattress. And then in the middle, we have the slightly insulated thermal divider portion, which is going to prevent that cross heating of the other chamber. A tip to ensure that your mattress is actually placed inside the rail squarely, the wrinkles are out from underneath the bottom of the mattress, and the corners are in the correct spots. Rather than having you wrestle with a mattress that's filling with water or is already filled with water, we'll recommend that if you have a shop vac that blows cool air, that you go ahead and pump it up with air, the actual sponge chamber, or if you have just one of these little AC 110 kind of air inflator pumps that we have here, you can use that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we do that. Now that we've got it full of air, we're just applying a little bit of pressure again to the center of the mattress on each side so that we can make sure that our corners are in place and as you can see they are. Now we can open both valves. We're going to leave one open with nothing attached to it. That's going to let all the air escape even as we start to fill with water in this other side. Before we begin adding water, it's important to go ahead and add the conditioner now. Adding it now allows it to spread through the chamber while it's filling with water, and it's going to ensure the most longevity out of your sponge chamber as possible. Our setup's almost complete, and I've grabbed a little mini mattress sample here of one of our soft side mattresses. I want to show you, first of all, just how small this thing is when it vacuum sealed again, but I also want to show you what happens to the inside of the bed when we open it up. Now this is a eight or a nine inch chamber that you're watching take on air. And you're watching the sponge system or the fibrous system, depending upon which model it is, really expand open. So remember, when you've got this much mattress, you don't need a whole lot of water to finish the job. Go ahead and apply just a tiny bit of Vaseline to the outer rim of your valve. That allows for just a smoother application of your perfect union. And a little Vaseline placed on the seal after filling before you put on the cap creates an airtight seal. Screw that perfect union on and we're ready to start filling this sponge chamber with water. With the sponge sleep system, you're an interactive partner working to knead and massage that water through that sponge so that it saturates properly. And we do it a number of different ways. Sometimes on our knees like I am doing now, or we walk on the mattress in a systematic fashion, or you can even roll on the mattress. And in reality, you should probably do all of these throughout the fill process and when finished once again. Another difference that we've incorporated into the sponge sleep system is our hydro lift layer. The hydro lift layer is 5 8 inch thick. Its job is to help the sponge float to your body for support. If you overfill this mattress, what's going to happen to that 5 8 hydro lift layer is it's going to act like a piece of plywood and it's going to start to push over your rail the higher that it gets. And it's going to cause the bed to look just a little sloppier than it really should. So again, fill level is very, very important. And I'm just going to show you this so you can kind of see it. As I put pressure on that sheet, you can watch that rail start to move. If you want a little softer surface, you want to start out at that half inch range. If you want a little firmer surface, go to that inch range so you're below by an inch. We typically recommend an inch with the sponge sleep system. As you can see, we've removed our hose, we've finished filling the mattress. And I've had Russ, my friend here, come in here and uh, 
asked him to lay on the sleep surface because I want to show you something that's very different about the sponge system yet again as opposed to that old antique waterbed. One of the things about the sponge system is you can see all this excess vinyl and the first thing we hear is you need more water. This is underfilled. Well, remember, you're in the sleep system with the sponge, not sleeping on top of it. So one of the things I want to show you is all this extra vinyl, this is what we call an overcut top. Now, I'm going to show you an example of an old-fashioned cut top that wasn't overcut. I'm going to pull this nice and tight, and you can see how much he comes out of that mattress. That vinyl is not allowing him to get into the sleep surface nearly as well as he is when I let go. We're, we're finished now with the fill process, so now it's just getting all that excess air out. You're going to want to grab a partner, have them work your air extractor, which is going to basically help remove that air that I'm kneading out of the sponge as we go through. We also need to talk about using vinyl cleaner. Vinyl cleaner is a spray-on application and wipe off. Vinyl cleaner helps prevent what we call plasticizer migration, which is basically the hardening of the vinyl surface. We want a soft, supple vinyl surface that we're sleeping on. Now we're ready for the final step of the top cover assembly. I'm just walking around the sleep surface and zipping this on. It's the perfect earth-friendly accent to the fantastic support you're going to receive from your brand new Perfections frame-free deep fill sleep system. Finishing step for those of us who made this choice, the optional two and a half inch latex memory cell topper. It really provides the next step in ultimate comfort and support. Proper use and care of your sleep system and overall maintenance requires conditioner once or twice a year depending upon the brand, the use of the air extractor just to more efficiently burp the bed and really cut down on the time it takes, Vinyl cleaning the bed once or twice a year to prevent plasticizer migration and overall hardening of the vinyl. And then again, if you're going to move this bed for any reason whatsoever, making your life easier with the Drain Hero is one step closer to a great night's sleep. For more information on our Perfection Sleep System or any of the other accessories seen in this setup video, please pick up the phone and dial 1-800-ENOMAX or log on to our sleep catalog online at www.innomax.com.